Grants. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm so excited about Love Style Life. I read somewhere that you said you were offered a book deal very early on in your career, but you didn't feel like timing was right and that you weren't ready. Tell me why now and tell me a little bit about your book. It's funny, like when I started my blog, you know, there was that big success after a few months, not even a year. I feel like this is a big achievement for me. Huge. And I feel very happy. I don't feel empty or like exhausted or anything, but I think it's a good moment to think about what I want. And you know what they say, it's so funny about success. So much of success is the opportunities that you say no to as yeah. opposed to the opportunities that you take. Yeah. What does success mean to you now? You know, being able to take that time to think and having the luxury to be like, okay, what's the next idea of success for me? Then taking the right decisions to put myself on that road because life is short. And what I loved about in your book is you talked about the evolution of your relationship with your sister. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that and sort oh, of yeah. the dynamic? Totally. Um, my sister is gorgeous like she looked like um you know model like at that age when they're like 16 and suddenly like it's just like everything comes bruh. together yeah everything like you have that awkward teenager yeah and suddenly like my kind of world like crumbled because i felt like everybody was looking at her that was a very rough moment for me because you know you're a teenager like your identity is not formed right your image is very important your body's changing you don't un understand i do think it's a it, the beauty is a, a pretty important burden you know right. and but I also say in my book that beauty is very r relative like if my sister hadn't been there you I would, would have, have thought of myself of like you know the only Cindy Crawford the yeah exactly yeah. so it's really funny and it was not a bad thing so tell me a little bit about sort of the content that you've created over the last 10 years and how you've stayed true to yourself and, and sort of that authenticity I see myself as a creator like I'm a I'm an artist, like I'm a writer. Staying true to myself is just being able to say no when you see that something is pushing you too much in one direction or another. another. All right, so quick fire session. Jeans or little black dress? Jeans. Jeans. Chocolate chip cookie or macaron? Chocolate chip cookie. Good, you are American. So yeah, <laughs> macarons are too sweet, yeah. Um, Paul Newman or Gregory Peck? Paul Newman forever. Okay, mascara or lipstick? Uh, I, it used to be lipstick, now it's mascara. What does your apartment look like? I just moved in August and it's a big loft. It's like you can skateboard and it's very big, but there is like not a lot of things right. in it. Sounds it's cool great. though. It's okay, yeah. I'll come it's over for margaritas yeah. in an hour. <laughs> okay.